Here's something else that's been on my list for four years. I had a big list, as old as my van life is. Of course, you can't get everything you want. I just got this yesterday. I had to drive two hours, and here's what I got. Seven inch LCD screen, exactly what I always wanted. Not really, but also comes with these cables. Also comes with a mini DVR, and it comes with four of these little boxes. And inside each little box is an egg shaped thingy with a cord sticking out. It's like a mouse, like a big, this is what I got. It's a nice, sleek, oh, it's the other one, like this. I had looked at many different cameras. I looked for a while and then I saved stuff. I have like pages and pages of stuff that I saved. I was looking for something much smaller than this, but I couldn't really find something that was nice. So I ended up getting these. These are 12 volt. There's like four, there's like, there's like facing the front, two facing the side and one facing the back. And I'll be able to see through this monitor who's around me. I can see all four cameras at once. The only problem with this, uh, here's two problems. The reason I drove two hours to pick it up. When I bought this on Amazon, I gave them my PO box. I had no issues making the purchase. They never told me they wouldn't deliver it to a PO box. This is all the instructions that I get and a CD. My computer does not accept mini CD discs. I never read the instructions anyway, but in this case, I need some instructions, darn it. First thing I'm gonna do here is unscrew this and find out what's going on here because there's not even any screws in included. So I'm gonna have to go by screws and that is why I'm over here at Lowe's. It's a weird product because there's no instructions. I know I, I, I throw my instructions away, but still, once in a while, you do want some instructions. Now that I opened the guts of this thing, I can see how this thing is going to work. And then this thing can rotate. I don't see it making a, a waterproof connection. Because there's going to be a little opening in here. If this is facing forward, or any direction if water starts coming this way. If the water gets in here, how is water going to get out? That's a problem. But the camera itself is insulated and looks like it's waterproof. All right, now I got to go to Lowe's and get some stainless steel bolts that will fit in here. I'm going to touch this up here, facing backwards. Kind of have an idea what I want. I'm going to attach it right here. I got pretty much everything I need. I'm still deciding where exactly to install the camera. If I put the camera over here, looking backwards, then from here forward, it's not going to record anything. The other possibility is to put the camera over here, looking forward, or to even mount the camera here. The reason I don't want the camera in the back, looking forward, even though that would give, give me a great view, all the bugs and maybe even little rocks and stuff can come and hit the lens. If the lens is looking backwards, then um, then that's not gonna happen. Decisions, decisions, this. I got some measurements in there. Cut this piece here, then I'm gonna drill some holes and I think I might change my plan just a little bit. I need a piece of wood. Got it. Always pays off to save some little scraps. As usually happens, you think you got everything you need and then you have to go back to the store over and over again. I think I got what I need, but before I go back, I need some. It's been a couple hours since I started cutting aluminum, but I got four brackets. Doesn't look pretty. It doesn't matter because this is what the bracket is gonna do. And why did I need this bracket? Did I need the bracket? After two hours of laboring, I may not need these brackets. I think I may only need one bracket. I may not need the brackets. Darn it. But the purpose of the brackets was so that I could attach this better to the roof rack. But I may not need these brackets. I can't believe I just wasted two hours doing this stuff. So I am going to use at least one bracket. 
because it has to go like this and then the camera will sit over here so I got to drill two holes three holes first three holes making a high production over here well, I got one done Right now I'm just guessing the angle. Once it, this is all connected, then I can see what the angle is and I can come outside, adjust everything. Beautiful, I'll deal with this later. Guess where I'm going back to the store for? I need more screws. Took a few hours. Originally I was gonna put the camera over here and then I decided to put it over here. I think it looks a little bit better. The camera does rotate around. I have that one on top there. For now I just zip tied the cables and tomorrow's gonna to rain so I can't uh, drill into the van. And I didn't do it today because I don't have Dicor and um, so I couldn't do that but the back one is right there. I had to off-center the back one, unfortunately, because that little thing there is also on top. And I couldn't screw anything in there, so... But I think it's, it looks good. It doesn't look bad. It looks like a backup camera up there. The other one is over here on this side. I got my decor. I'm ready to cut the hole in the roof, but here's the problem that I'm going to have right now. And it's not just about going up there and cutting a hole and be done with it. These cables have to go through it. The cable itself is very thin. But this has to go through it also. I have these grommets that I'm going to put up there. I think this is Louis proof. I can't open this thing. <laughs> oh, buddy! I'm going to cut the hole smaller than the outside diameter. This groove goes in, in the metal of the roof and then the cables will fit through here. Now the thing is, I gotta make sure I can fit four. I got three. If I can fit the last cable, which right now I think I can, then this is the grommet I wanna use. I think I have enough room. I think this is it. This aluminum is thicker than the van. Okay. I'm gonna sacrifice this piece of plastic because this is about the thickness of the metal on the roof. Will the cables fit in here? That's what I gotta try right now. All right, will it fit? One fits. If I can fit this one, I'm golden. And it fits. This metal is gonna go all over the place and then it's gonna rust. Here goes nothing. Ow! It's hot. The hole is made. You see all those metal shavings. If I didn't have this here, these metal shavings would be going all over the place. Next thing I gotta do, get some paint. While that paint dries, I'm gonna connect these cables one by one. You gotta line them up and that's it. I'm beginning to feel raindrops and I can't seal this yet until I stretch the cable so I may have to use some zip ties for now and then I'll attach it permanently. I zip tied all the cables up there now I'm gonna pull the cables in here while it's raining I put something over the hole so it doesn't get water in there. It's still raining a little bit. Just drizzling. Just enough to be a nuisance. Oh no, I didn't pull everything in. I got a lot more to go. The hole over here was much bigger than the cable. So what I did was I cut one of these 
and then I put it around the cable and now I have a nice tight fit for the decor. Beginning to rain again so I'm doing this just in time. When you're using decor or die core, don't be afraid to put plenty of it in there. I made sure to put a nice amount of decor or die core between the cables. It's better to put too much than too little. It's not raining too bad but it's drizzling a little bit and because I want to give the die core a chance to dry before it starts raining. I created a little uh, and now the die core has a chance to dry and as soon as it develops a hard shell, a hard top, like if the top will like a, then I'm okay but right now I'm gonna have to stay here for a few hours until this dries up but this should be okay. Great idea. Sometimes I have good ideas. Sometimes not so much. It all depends on the day. <laughs> now that I got the cables on the inside I got this complete mess. These cables are so long, I wish there was a way to cut them. I'm sure there is, because they weren't born like this. I don't have these things and I don't know where to get them. I probably could get them somewhere, but I don't want to deal with this. Got this material at Lowe's. It's duct seal. It seals conduit openings against drafts, dust, moisture, and noise. Now, the hole that I have there is probably about, and this is non-toxic and non-staining. edges over there. It's hard to see and push it in so I have to guess. Nice and neat. All of them are like this. This looks like complete chaotic. That's because it is. And that's what happens when you live in a van that's not that big and you don't have a lot of room. 15 more minutes, it's gonna rain. Been a couple hours since I did the uh, decor, die core. So hopefully it'll, it'll, uh, it'll be okay. Ah, perfect. After almost almost four years of having this right here it's coming off this is the monitor this is the most ideal place for it too high too low 12 and three quarters it's hot and humid again I'm trying to finish this today and everything is coming out of the cabinets. It's a bigger mess. <sighs> Almost done. All right, it's hot, but we gotta have some, some silence. I'm gonna connect this for the first time. I don't even know if all this stuff works. I drill all these holes assuming that this works, but I guess I'll find out. They give you all this stuff but you only need to use one of these. Use one, pick one. So I'll pick this one. Oh, I got, I got image. I got an image there. <laughs> we got image on one. <laughs> How cool is that? Look at that. It's working. All this sweat, but it's working. I bought two 128 gigabyte cards from Amazon. They're going to be delivered today to uh, an Amazon locker. Here's a little trick that I did. I was thinking, how am I going to adjust these cameras by myself? I need I need one person in here talking to me on the phone, telling me, go left, go right. And then I thought, you know what? I got two phones. Why don't I FaceTime myself? And that's what I did. I FaceTime myself. I placed this camera on top of some stuff right over here in front of that. And then I went outside with this phone, watching this through the phone, and I was able to adjust all the cameras the way I wanted, all by myself. Simple and efficient. If you have, if you have two phones. 
This thing is so crude. Pressing stuff and just nothing happens. I was able to change the time. This thing works, but it's a little crude. It's not, it's, it is what it is. Now I can see the outside. That's what infrared lights look like at night. Much, much brighter in the camera. Having some Timmy's over here in my van. And now, I don't have to guess to know if somebody's outside or not. All I gotta do is look. No more guessing. It's been raining like crazy for the past few days. It's, it, it rains and then it's sunny and then it rains and it's sunny. And every few minutes it seems like it's raining. But right now, even though it's supposed to rain around this time, it, it's not. It's been sunny now for about an hour or so. So I'm taking this opportunity to tack all my cables in. Definitely pays to have one of these babies if you have a van or RV or something tall. Just be careful with your fingers. The spirit of man is the lamp of the Lord, searching all the innermost parts of his being. Proverbs 20, 27. Oh, and uh, I got one of these. <laughs>